Hey guys, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I'm so sorry, I just got busy these past weeks. I also apologize for unable to reply to all of your previous comments. But now we're back on track. So let's make more command creations. And now, we will make a simple explosive command creation. So this is how it works. Hold a snowball, and then find a target. When you launch a snowball, acute particles will appear. These particles will move forward until it hits an entity or until it got out of 70 radius within the specific player. It kinda slow though. Oh, I missed all of them. Let's shoot some more. When it hits an entity, its speed will greatly increase and it will explode stuffs along the path. Well, that's it, now let's proceed to the command. Start as always with an activator command. This command will activate whenever we hold a snowball and shoot a snowball. add a tag to ourself first. Now to summon an armor stand that we will use for our energy blast, here is the command. Every time we throw a snowball, an armor stand will appear from above, it needs to be summoned from above to prevent it to get caught on explosion. Let's test it! There it is! You can spawn as many as you want. Okay, now let's move to the next command. Let's add now a sound effect. Every time we throw a snowball, this play sound will play. Let's give it a try. Now to make the armor stand move. Once we spawn the energy blast armor stand, it will instantly begin to move. Now let's set its limit range, so that it won't go on forever. Once the armor stand got out of 70 radius within the player, it will instantly be killed.
It moves very slow. Do you think it is too slow or not? Comment it down below. Can't wait. Let's just kill them. Now let's add the particle effect. This will be our cute little particle. Let's see. There they are. Okay, move on to the next command. Let's start now the commands for the explosion. Once the armor stand detected an entity at the bottom of it, the explode tag will add it to it. Let's summon my greatest test subject. So when the particle hit an entity, then the explode tag will add it to the armor stand. Since we haven't had any commands yet for armor stand that has explode tag, that's why it will just fall down. Now let's speed up the armor stand. Once the armor stand got the explode tag, its movement speed will greatly increase. See the transition between the movement speed? Now let's add now the explosion. Once the armor stand got the explode tag, it will continuously spawn and auto explode ender crystal. Let's see how destructive it is. This creeper is unstable. Finally! If you don't want its destructive power, you can turn off the mob griefing game rule. Now for the last one, to hide the armor stand. Let's do the final testing. Thank you.
Okay, that's it. You get the point now. I hope you did enjoy watching this video. This is Game Over Gaming, signing out.